I really just want to show you how uh, absolutely militant, <clears throat> and I've said it before, flat earthers are. Uh, this is a friend on Facebook I've had for a while. Calls himself by the name of Love. But this is, he actually means this. He's, he says it as if he's joking. But he calls me a shell for believing in a spherical earth. Ha, all this time. Ba, ha, ha, ha. Then he, then he disfellowships with me. Um, and basically, not just disfellowships or defriends me, but, you know, totally bans me, you know. This picture, by the way, was taken in Paris last year when I was doing ministry, doing preaching, giving out Bibles. And uh, the person I was with um, accused me of um, raping her, just like my previous wife accused me of, of rape as well. So um, I'll expect knocks at the door from, from police. That is, is, it's just one of these things that if you stand up for truth and if you serve God, <clears throat> this is what happens. You know, this is just what happens. Um, without any evidence, of course. Um, but they, they, they'll do that. They'll just talk. They'll, they'll take my things. Uh, the girl, by the way, never gave me a single penny for, for travel money. She actually damaged my car as well. Uh, and then accuses me of rape. And then mar marries my uh, ministry partner, <coughs> who, who she said was uh, an idiot. And that there is no way that she should go out with them. And then the next thing is that they're married. <laughs> so that's the way people are these days. Um, that's just the way people are. So I post a, a man falling from space through the earth. You know, he's in the upper atmosphere. Okay, it wasn't space. I understand that. Right? But it's basically about 128 kilometers I think it was 128,000 kilometers up in the atmosphere or was it miles I think it was kilometers and uh, you know I'm a shell for posting that this said they post this so you're meant you're meant to go through these verses which you can't even read right my friend says would you mind maybe handwriting a few of, of, of those out and he calls her an idiot you know, which I'm very thankful that, <clears throat> oh, you're crazy, you know. I'm very f thankful that these fake friends are not friends at all. They're mentally ill people. Um, just cannot see the, the fact that the, the earth is not flat. Um, and even if it was, big deal. Big deal. Um, so, that's what they want to do. <clears throat> that's that's up to them you know that's up to them man well I know that Islam promotes a flat earth and um, without reason rhyme or reason without anything actually without any evidence whatsoever but they'll promote a flat earth and if you stand up for anything else you're a fake Christian according to this little little boy um, who who just came to my, my YouTube channel about a few days ago asked asked to friend me on Facebook and then w within a couple of days uh, he's calling me a, f a fake YouTube channel right okay a fake YouTube channel because I'm not a flat earther and I just wrote here flat earth now Mandatory hijab will be next. It will come out soon enough that these shells pushing flat earth are government sponsored agents, and that's exactly what they are. And it's the mindless morons that just jump on the bandwagon with them. Enjoy your flat earth while the devil uses it to destroy fellowship among Christians. So I don't mind being called fake by a little boy who doesn't know any better, but I expect more from mature Christians. Well, here's Joanne here. Um, just giving disinformation out. This is absolute disinformation. The spherical earth has been around for just as long as Christianity has been around actually. Um, so fi this 500 year Jesuit theory is a lie. It's a total lie. Um, and so this is why they, they falsely accuse you of being like a Jesuit if you believe in a, a spherical earth which is just a complete lie. It's not 
it's not the real written history, the real actual history. But of course, the, the real Illuminati are trying to uh, destroy the, the, the written and in, in, uh, real history. And they're trying to invent all kind of lies. And they're, they're just uh, helping them. These people are just helping them, unfortunately. And so just look again at some of the reasons why flat earthers don't address uh, the points that they do. They have no answer. They continue to get beat um, in every argument that they take part in. And instead of saying, well, I disagree, I respect your view, you're standing up for what you believe in, they, they just go off and one, call you fake, they curse you as well. You know, you're a shell. So it's like they're cursing you. And the guy, the guy, the guy calls himself after the name of love. Seriously. Um, I said, the Lord bless you all. I will not curse you or falsely accuse you, like you do to me, because that's what the Lord Jesus Christ says. If you, if you're a true follower of the, of the Creator of the universe, people are going to falsely accuse you, um, and disfellowship with you and hate you and revile you for the Lord Jesus' name's sake. Um, come up with all kind of things falsely against you. You know, you're a, you're a, you're a rapist. You're you're a this. You're a that. You know, without any evidence, without any evidence whatsoever. <laughs> well, that's that's awesome, man. Th thanks a lot for that, guys. I've really seen that. Uh, you know, the amount of not real friends that I have on Facebook. You know, I don't have that many anyway on Facebook or YouTube but there you go they're prepared to slaughter somebody absolutely slaughter somebody um, somebody's reputation somebody's beliefs somebody's um, entire life um, and, and they call that love that's love according to these very very mixed up people you know, I'm willing to die for my faith. These people aren't willing to die. I'm willing to die. You know, when I asked Jesus into my life, I knew that physically that was it. My life, my life's over. It's finished. It's now up to God what, what he does with me. You know, and uh, just going to look at a few reasons why the earth is not flat. <clears throat> um, pictorial evidence is one. The moon, the curves, you see the shadow of the earth. That's another evidence. Ships on the horizon is another evidence. Have you ever seen a, a ship just disappearing into the horizon? Uh, star constellations. You can't see the North Star from the Southern Hemisphere. There's a different um, sky in the Southern Hemisphere than there is in the Northern Hemisphere. It's another reason. We never, ever address these things, ever. Um... you got not quite sure what that is but you can work out what it is also we got time zones as well so you can see this is just some evidence that this is BC you know that the, the spherical earth has been around way way before Christ came. It's not just a 500 year old Jesuit theory. That's a lie. It's a complete and utter lie. Um, seeing things further from okay riding in a plane you can clearly see that the earth is a curvature. Um, looking at other planets I know flat earthers say this isn't a planet but well it's firmament you're on firm ground, you're on land so when you go to these planets you're on fir firmament as well you're on you're on solid ground and they're all spherical as well so are the moon spherical everything that we see in the universe is spherical so that's just another indication and of course time zones I did mention that um, you know the pull of gravity as well flat earthers don't believe in gravity but there's clearly gravity a planet does have gravity it produces a gravitational force um, 
And so these are just some reasons why the Earth is not a um, is not flat. Uh, more than likely not flat. It's not something that I wouldn't, you know, militantly disfellowship people for not believing in what I do. But that's what they do to us. And so, not just that, but they're prepared to absolutely slaughter us. They're prepared to um, jump on any bandwagon that they, that they see. And these people... Um, according to the word of God are in fellowship with error and they actually love a lie they hate truth and they, and they love lies these people I believe that it's one of the one of the imaginations of the heart that the Lord has allowed um, that the Lord has actually allowed souls to be in error about um, in the last days you know you can see that they're, they're always trying to make fun of people who believe in a spherical earth there's more there's more evidence that there's a spherical earth than, than there's a flat earth but this is what they do they make fun of us, they falsely accuse us, they curse us and then when they've lost the argument <clears throat> they, they just go off in a, in a tantrum like spoiled little children, I mean please please, if this is the level of um, fellowship that's out there and they, and they call themselves Christian. I'm sorry, but um, you, you're you're in for some serious trouble when the Lord Jesus comes back. You know, um, the way that you treat brothers and sisters in the Lord, and you'll call us fake. Oh well, not, they're not really in the Lord. They're they're this, they're that. They're they're you just make up stuff without any evidence and disfellowship with them, and they call that love. Yeah, and if the same thing happens to them, they're very quick to start quoting Bible verses where, you know, there's got to be two more witnesses. There's got to be a chance of repentance. See, the reason why um, flat earth is not clearly written in the Bible because it's not a sin to believe in a spherical or flat earth. The Lord doesn't see it as a sin. <clears throat> it's not a disfellowshipping offence <coughs> in the Lord's kingdom. But these people are in serious sin. Okay, these people are uh, um, going against the Lord's commandments daily, weekly. They're actually in disfellowship with the Lord. And they hang on to this false flat earth theory as if that it is somehow uh, inhabited a void that, that should be there by the Holy Spirit because these people don't have the Holy Spirit. But that void that they don't have because God hasn't given them the, the Holy Spirit in order to discern what truth is and so they fill that void with the flat earth and that, that's exactly what's happening here uh, for Christmas that I put on my channel Christ was never in the mass and so you know if I'm saying like things like Christ was never in the mass do you think I'd be a Jesuit <laughs> absolutely out of your mind that's a book that I wrote and by the way flat earthers this is what you're heading for, my friend. So enjoy it while it lasts. But uh, unless you repent of your idolatry, and that's what it is, then you'll end up here in the lake of fire. <laughs>